hi, uh, I'm Chris Hadfield. I've, I've spent a little time self-isolating on board a spaceship. How are you doing with self-isolation? You know, it's an extremely dangerous environment up on board the space station, and yet we find a way to thrive and be productive that far away from our normal lives. We do it through four different things. Number one, understand the actual risk. Don't just be afraid of things. Go to a credible source and find out what is truly the risk that you're facing right now. You, your, your family, your friends, the people that you care about. And then, what are you trying to accomplish? What are your objectives? You know, what's your mission for right now? Make that clear for this afternoon, for this week, for, for the next month. What do you want to get done? Then look at your constraints. Who's telling you what you need to do? What financial resources do you have? What are your obligations? But once you understand the risk and your mission, your sense of purpose and your obligations, then take action. Start doing things. They don't have to be the things that you always did before. Take care of family, start a new project, learn to play guitar, study another language, read a book, write, create. It's a chance to do something different that you've maybe not done before. And then repeat. And of course, if uh, if you think you've been exposed to COVID, then, you know, if you've gotten closer than a couple arms length to people, then, then self-isolate. And, and if you have any symptoms, you know, a, a sore throat or, or a fever or a cough, then consult a physician. But there's never been a better time to self-isolate. So many people have access to the internet that, that you have the entire written work of everything, all the body of knowledge right there at your fingertips. So take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends, take care of your spaceship. And I wish everybody happy landings.